Hey, welcome to Hey Bud Smoking Barbecue. I'm Joe, and today we're gonna be doing braised lamb shanks. So stay tuned. All right, so today we're gonna be doing this, uh, these braised lamb shanks, and uh, we're gonna be doing them in a really cool glaze, and at the end we're gonna be doing a red wine reduction that's gonna go on them. It's pretty simple actually, don't let uh, that kind of thing uh, make you think it's hard, because it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and open these things up. So, get them out of here, put them on the plate. And we're gonna be smoking these things today on our master built uh, 800 series, uh, gravity fed series. And uh, so we're gonna just do, clean them up. We're gonna put a little salt and pepper, and then we're gonna smoke them uh, probably about 160 to 180 degrees, just enough to be able to, to get their internal temperature up uh, to about 130. Uh, that way we can actually, before it goes in the braise. So, so if you have anything, little sinews, anything like that, you wanna clean them off. Don't go too crazy on this. Um, it's a lamb shank, so it's gonna, the reason why we braise it, it's gonna break all this down and everything, so. extra stuff here it's nothing crazy yep we're just gonna leave all this intact so you can if you want if you want to peel off any of this in you you might expose the meat a little bit better most of the stuff you can just kind of get your knife and We're just gonna do some salt and pepper. Uh, I've been using this uh, white pina pepper, so from Cameroon. Uh, this stuff is what I have in my salt or my pepper rider right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that on there. I'm be a little generous. It's not a overly uh, rough, you know, pepper or anything like that. It does have kind of a really earthy smell, but I promise you, it'll make it taste delicious. All right. Then we got our uh, our uh, Florida salt, sea salt. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. So. All right, we're gonna go get and get these on the grill. Let's get that grill started. Get these on the grill. Like I said, about 160 to 180 to get them up to a temperature, internal temperature of 130, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, once I get that started and put these on there, we're gonna come back and we're gonna make our braise and get that ready for whenever we hit about 130. Then we're gonna put them into the braise to finish the cook and everything like that. So, so let's go ahead and get that grill started. Get up, stretch my legs. Wash my teeth up, wash my face. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Start my days. Wake up, Wake up get, up, get up, up, stretch my legs. Eat, eat some breakfast, breakfast milk and eggs. Brush my, brush my teeth up, up, wash my face. Days. Throw my, Throw my clothes, on. clothes on, start my day. day. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. See the sun shining from the windows Okay, I know that today will be a good day Okay, I know that today will be a good day A, B, C, one, two, three Drink some water, brush my teeth Get out of bed and I stretch Bed in my hair is a mess Look through my clothes for a fit Anything I do is drip Feel like a kid when I'm TikTok And I still keep it real as it is I show my age, I don't switch often. I'm just as a dad as a kiss. Try taking that so my kids talking. I'm guessing this. All right, so we just got our uh, lamb shanks onto the grill. Set her up at uh, about 170. I'm going to take her to 130 internal. But while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and get our braise ready. So, what we did is we already took a half of an onion, chopped it up uh, pretty fine, nothing too crazy. So we're gonna throw that in there. And then, here. Take this 
this out of the way. All right, uh, we took uh, a full uh, head of garlic. So we already smashed it up. So we're not gonna trip, cut this up. We're just making sure we smash it. It'll pull everything out of there. Um, we're gonna take our just uh, tomato sauce. So we have just a pasta sauce that we're gonna use. So we're gonna put about half a jar in here. however you like. So I'm right, gonna take a little bit of olive oil. So we're gonna put, uh, this is only about two teaspoons of olive oil in here. There you go, about two teaspoons. And out the way. All right, I'm gonna take some butter. Take about a, I don't know, about a quarter stick. Um, I'm gonna put the recipe in the uh, in the description, so you'll be able to like look at it and everything like that. So this just uh, salt peppers this is that uh, this is sea, sea salt uh, with the uh, white pepper that we I showed you earlier, that pina pepper. So we're just gonna put. So it's already pre-mixed, so they already mixed it together. So and then I'm just gonna put some pinches in here. You don't have to put too much uh, for simple fact that uh, tomato sauce already has some uh, salt and sugars and things like that in there. All right, and then, uh, then we're gonna take, and then we're gonna do one cup of this beef, beef broth. So, one cup. All right. You can get any kind of beef broth that doesn't really have to be anything special. So this one's just all natural beef broth. Let me mix that in there with it. All right. And then we're gonna take some of our, some fresh mint that we picked up in the store today. And we're just gonna throw it, drop it in there. Find the mint just cuts out the kind of the gaminess of any of the lamb. So we're just gonna put that in there. And then we have some rosemary we're gonna put in there as well. Crazy. All right, right there. And then we're just gonna kind of mix this up. We're gonna throw it on the stove. So we're gonna incorporate everything and then we'll put it into our pan uh, once the lamb is ready to go into the braise. All right, so. All right, let's put this on the stove over here. So we just pulled our uh, lamb shanks off the grill. So they hit an internal temperature of 130 or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna transfer them into this pan. So not a very big pan. So we're just gonna kind of offset them. So, and that way we can, uh, then we're gonna cover them with our braise. So I went ahead and heated this up and uh, kept it nice and warm. That way it's not a shock to the meat. And you're just gonna kind of dump it over the top of the, the bra or the uh, lamb shanks. Just make sure you get all that stuff out of there, every single part of it. Oh man. All right. Look at all that dis deliciousness. So make sure your uh, all your mint and your rosemary just stays submerged. Make sure you get those onions, all that stuff. And then keep in mind we're gonna be. Uh, turning these every 30 minutes as we cook them as we get going on this so all right let's throw this back on the grill
so we just pulled these off the grill. We're gonna actually pull these out of here. We're gonna set them on the on the cutting board here, and then we're gonna start making our red wine reduction. So it had great pullback on the bone. Oh my goodness, that is good stuff right there. So we're gonna move this out of the way. Get that started. So we're gonna go ahead and let these rest. Man, these things are tender, beautiful. While these things are resting though, we're gonna do our red wine reduction. Then we're gonna pull them off the bone, then we're gonna plate them, and we're gonna put that reduction on top of it. It's gonna be good. reduction which we'll strain here in a second. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull the meat off the bone here because we're feeding a family of four. So we're not going to be serving each one of these individually. But we're going to pull the meat off the bone. Should just pretty much pull right off. off the bone here and uh, it just peels right off this you already saw the bone was like pulling back so this meat's just coming right off So that's still a pretty good amount of meat right there that we got off this thing. And that's our dinner right there. All right, let's finish up this uh, red wine reduction. We'll just start plating this thing up. As a reminder, like and subscribe. Uh, just it's gonna keep our channel going. And uh, we wanna keep making good food and stuff you guys can uh, use the recipes for and make stuff, you know, good backyard barbecue for your family. So that's the whole point of this is we're not doing anything that's overly difficult. It's all stuff you can get at your local grocers and uh, nothing crazy. And even the red wine reduction, don't let the 
like the name Folia. It's literally taking the stuff that you cook this in and adding red wine, which you can get <laughs> anywhere. So, you know, um, let us know what you think and uh, come back and watch some more. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pour our red wine reduction in here. We're gonna strain out all the pieces and parts until we're left with just the, the sauce. Look at all that goodness. Let's turn that around. Let the good stuff drain through. It's okay that it's thick. That's what you want. Nice thick sauce. It's gonna coat your meat. Now we're gonna smash it through, just stir it around until it kinda all drains it through. Because you end up with this like paste on the other side of it. <clears throat> Thick. And that's gonna go onto our lamb. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, let's get this thing plated up. red wine reduction on here. So it's nice and thick. Not gonna be shy about it. And there you go. So we're gonna start eating this thing. It's gonna be delicious. All right. So like and subscribe, come back and see us, and uh, let us know what you think in the comments, and uh, let us know what you want uh, us to go next, because uh, you know we're always looking for something new, and uh, this was new to us right here, just a simple red wine reduction, and we didn't realize how quite easy it was for you know just a common backyard barbecue kind of person to to really do this. So uh, hope you enjoy. Take it easy. Keep that smoke rolling. Oh,